see them. Now, I'm reliably informed that Prince Philip and the Queen spent some time in the... They visited the tropical rainforest of Venezuela. Where they were taken by the wildlife, especially the birds, beautiful birds, beautiful plumage. Sadly, some of these birds are becoming extinct. But tonight, we have a surprise. We're bringing on stage one of these birds, the greater crested king parrot from the Venezuelan rainforest. Here is the president of the International Bird Association to bring the bird on, Professor Trevor James. <laughs> I've been asked to come here. <laughs> I've been asked to come here <laughs> to give a short talk on the subject of a very rare species, the Venezuelan jungle parrot. <laughs> the Venezuelan jungle parrot is a most unusual bird. First of all, because it has absolutely no fear whatsoever of heights. <laughs> <laughs> this enables the bird to build its nest at the top of the loftiest tree in the jungle. <laughs> From whence its beautiful and plaintive cry rings out across the jungle treetops. Hello! <laughs> now, the Venezuelan jungle parrot is very much sought after in its native Venezuela by the Aborigines, who seek this bird for its beautiful plumage. <laughs> from which they make brightly coloured and exotic headdresses. And from the short, soft, curly feathers surrounding the bird's bottom, they make beautiful and delicate little tribal ornaments. <laughs> a dangerous and sometimes even aggressive species, this particular specimen has been tamed and trained by showing great patience, by feeding it with tasty berries, and by hitting it with a piece of wood. <laughs> and tonight, to demonstrate the extreme bravery and courage of this particular species, Sid is going to show you his prowess as a fire eater. <laughs> we shall bring onto the stage a six foot pole <laughs> of naked, blazing flame, <laughs> which Sid will extinguish. In his beak. <laughs> he seems to have poo pooed that particular idea. <laughs> However, he is instead going to sing for you a beautiful song. A song he's had the great pleasure of performing on the radio, on the sideboard, and sitting on the back of a chair, <laughs> Sid is going to sing for you now, Nellie Dean. <laughs> ah, before he breaks into song, he just needs to moisten his vocal cords. Oh, I'll get this. All right, all right. <laughs> Thank you, young man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sid, Sid, Sid. It's for you. It's for you. <laughs> right, Sid, go to it. Nelly D. Enjoy your evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>